Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Let's go ahead. We got to get on this Candace situation. I definitely want to talk about Candace, honey. She's back going viral. Now, you know, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest. Kamala Harris fan. Never that's told. Not, oh, hold on. Oh, that oh, it. Hold up. That's not a secret. But I don't like the disrespect that she's getting as a woman in general. And of course, Candace and many others are leading that march. Um, first, let me get on this other chick. Because Laura Loomer. Now, I really didn't know who her Laura Loomer was. I had never heard of her. But Montel Williams had to kind of check her the other day. So let me go ahead and, and pull this up for y'all real quick. So this lady named Laura Luma. So she took to social media and she wrote this. She said, it is time for Republicans to start talking about at Kamala Harris's sexual history and the reason why she likely doesn't have any children of her own. I'm willing to bet she's had so many abortions that she damaged her uterus. A woman who has no biological children of her own should not be allowed to make decisions in the White House for your children. Now, again, I said, I don't know who Laura Luma is, but I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe she comes from like a Mormon background. She has 15 children and counting. From what I see, this bitch don't got no kids. So should we assume the same about you? The fact that you have no children, you're not married, bitch. Does that mean you got 50 million abortions under your belt? Like, it's just weird. It's weird. So you're unmarried, you have no children, but you're sitting here clocking another woman's uterus. That's strange to me, okay? If Kamala don't want no kids, that's Kamala's business. Maybe she's infertile. You know, you just never know what people be going through when they don't have kids. You know what I mean? I don't make assumptions. Some people don't want kids. Some people literally can't have kids, you know? And it is what it is, but that was such a nasty tweet. And so then she got the harassing uh, Montel Williams. Now, if you're a 90s child, you know about Montel. Montel ain't never played, okay? He used to take us 90s kids and send us to like boot camps and shit. And they would come on the show yelling at the kids like, you're, you're, you're going to boot camp. You're about to do this. You were cussing at your mom. You, you know what I mean? Like Montel did not play that. He's an ex-Marine. But at one point he dated Kamala Harris. This is a picture of him and Kamala and his daughter. That's his daughter right here. That's Kamala. And so the Laura lady was messing with Montel. So he said, she said this. Did you know that Kamala Harris was once an escort and she got her career and then got her career and started giving blowjobs to successful rich black men? She sucked Willie Brown. <laughs> it's so crazy to read this. She sucked Willie, Willie Brown's penis while she was married to a man in exchange for political power. Here she is dating at Montel Williams in 2001, who appears to be holding hands with more than one woman at a time on the red carpet. <laughs> she just made up a whole scenario in her head because that's clearly Montel Williams' daughter. So Montel replied back to her. This kind of cuts off because then she tried to delete her post. But let me find, uh, I think, Hollywood Unlock had it. Let me see. Okay, this is a, let me share this other post. So he said this, he says, as most of you know, that's my daughter to my right. I've asked Laura Luma not to target my kids who are not public figure, figures, but she keeps hiding my tweet. And this was like Some a- Some prominent men, including in 2001, former talk show host, Montel Williams. Back then, he was the famous one and had to introduce her to the paparazzi. So that was like a quick clip from Inside Edition. Um, and so somebody, Renee says, uh, Renee Larson says, leave Montel Williams alone, please, and thank you. So Montel says, this is probably good advice. Anyone that wants to bet on how many creepy media requests I'm going to get today, 
Then he says, I've said what I, hold on. I've said what I'm going to say about things that keep trending. My friends in the media should think twice about wasting time on a 20 plus year old picture. You will find doing so will earn you an, an unpleasant reaction. And then he had retweeted Governor Westmore, um, who said today, I am proud to voice my full support and offer my full endorsement of Vice President Kamala Harris. And he, he says, reminding folks, I retweeted this, meaning he still supports Kamala, even though they're not together and, you know, it's been 20 plus years, he supports her. I just think it's really disgusting when I see other women clocking in other chicks, coochie miles and uterus. And of course, you know, you, you, you're getting it from white folks, but of course, you know, the, the talking grifter, the parrot head, Candace, she's on the same type of time. Y'all keep saying, oh, I don't see why you don't like her because I see through her bullshit. And I'm a Leo and I'm big on energy. And I'm not, I'm, I'm fair enough and I'm, I'm biased enough to say that it's not that I disagree with everything Candace says because on certain things, Candace has made good points and I've taken up for her before. But when she's wrong and she's out of pocket, I'm also gonna hold her accountable, okay? That's just how I get down. So this is what's going viral right now with Candace. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this here. And again, this is coming from some, I'm, I'm not a fan of Kamala. So it's not like I'm a Kamala Harris supporter or fan. I'm not a fan of Kamala. She repeats herself too much. So they understand that it will look really bad if they do not lean in to saying that they really do want Kamala. But even that feels a bit performative to me. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm starting to see articles creep out and they seem like attacks on Kamala. Again, if we can go into our time machine and go back to 2020, well, every time that someone tried to interject the truth about Kamala, which is that she slept her way to the top, it's a fact. She was with some six-year-old man, got her start in the political career, and they would go, oh my gosh, how dare you say this? That's so sexist. Well, then suddenly on July 6th, the Daily Mail actually published a headline about the fact that Kamala Harris was, you know, thotting through life. And they basically said she got her her political start, her political upstart, because she was dating this guy, Willie, can't think of his last name right now. And he was married and he was in his 60s and Kamala Harris was just a spring chicken. And that is how she entered the political scene. So she was not somebody who was a part of their ecosystem, but they tapped her in 2020 because they were like, oh, like the thing that we always say is that look at the Republican Party, it's so white and there's no diversity. And how are we going to be able to say that if we're running Joe Biden, who has been extraordinarily wealthy his entire life and whose son is becoming extraordinarily wealthy while smoking crack simply because he's doing dirty deals in Ukraine. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna hire Kamala Harris. We're gonna, we're gonna select Kamala Harris to be the vice president. And he's the only person I can think of. And then we can sell. I know that when, when she was sworn into Congress, she was talking about how she's an Indian, but we'll just sell the people, like, forget the Indian side. Like, now she's back to black. And the streets are talking. Ha, 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 ha. And that's what they did. So that is the only reason that Kamala Harris, they li- literally did not have another person that they felt could be the vice president and allow them to use the isms. You don't like her. You're a sexist. You don't think that she's amazing. You're a misogynist, deep-seated misogyny. You don't want this ticket to win. Is it because Kamala Harris is black? Kinda. I feel like it is. It's because you're a racist. So they just needed her to do the thing. Girl, get the fuck off my screen. Okay, so first of all, why is everybody mad at that big Willie? I don't even know who this man is. Got some hair from Kamala. Even if he did, who get? Why are y'all clocking her mouth and her coochie mouths? Why are y'all sitting here hating on big Willie getting some hair? Stop. <laughs> Let me get some of that, you know what I'm saying, that Guac Guac 3000. Quit hating not Big Willie, okay? He said he wanted him some young meat. And <laughs> she was willing to give him some head. She was willing to cuff them balls. <laughs> Why y'all mad that Big Willie got some? Let Big Willie and Kamala do them, honey. Now, but on the real though, what I find very interesting about this, you know, She's so worried about, you know, who Kamala slept with and she slept her way to the top and she's a whore and this and that. But my thing is this, right? And again, I have no dog in this fight. But last time I checked, ain't your favorite person, Trump? Wasn't he on audios talking about grabbing women's pussies? He said, you can just grab a woman by her pussy and she'll, you know, just because you have fame and power, she'll let you. 
Isn't your man right now going to court because he was sleeping with a porn star? And he's been married to Melania forever. So he's a cheater too. Did he not also cheat and then create Tiffany Trump? The daughter that, you know, she don't look nothing like, you know, Ivanka. Um, the mother of Tiffany was Donald's side chick. I forget her name, child. Y'all can write in the, in the chat. So it's, it's funny that she has all this smoke for Kamala and Kamala's coochie. But Donald done had his peen ever which way. Donald got, you know what I'm saying, several kids, different baby mamas. So none of these people, oh, Marla Maples, that's her name. Thank you, Marla Maples. Yeah, that's Tiffany's mama. And Marla Maples was the side chick. Broke Ivanka's heart. Left her for Marla Maples, the side chick. And then they end up getting divorced. But it's, it's just funny that you're so worried about somebody's sexual history. But see, Candace only has this smoke towards other women. Because she doesn't have this smoke for Andrew Tate. Who, you know what I'm saying, ran a whole agency, you know, supposedly, allegedly pimping girls out, having girls, you know, selling themselves, allegedly. She never has any smoke for men who are deep in the sex industry. Um, her, her BFF Kanye, ain't he addicted to porn? Don't he got all types of, ain't he going to court soon? Because they're accusing him of the R word? But Candace is quiet on that though. You not clocking Kanye's peen miles. Kanye got his so-called new wife out here dressed like a whore. Every time I see her, her coochie and titties is out. But you're not clocking that though, Candace. But you always have smoke for the women. You never have smoke for your male counterparts when they're in the wrong. She has not said one thing about Kanye's wife, Bianca, and how she's carrying herself around Kanye's kids. But you're so worried about Willie Brown or whatever the hell his name is getting his peen sucked 20 something years ago by then young Kamala Harris. You know, I'm gonna clock it. And then she was saying, um, now remember, she's going back years to find this old T on Kamala. Oh, she slept her way to the top. She was, you know, uh, sucking dick of a married man when she was young. Now let's go on to her hypocrisy. That's why I don't take her seriously. She's a grifter, whichever way blows, that's where she, you'll find Candace. So now let's hear her talk about her good old friend, Andrew Tate. And let's see how the energy is so different when she speaks on tape. A, a mashup clip that we're not going to show because I, I thought it was unfair. I will say that yeah. um, only because there was no context provided to the clips. It was, yeah. it was just an extract of something that you said. Yeah. And I also take exception to, I think, digging back 10 years. Um, I don't know who could survive that litmus test. Um, so I let me unmute myself. Did you, did y'all catch that T? I don't believe in digging back 10 years. I don't know who can survive that litmus test. See, I keep receipts. And this is why I don't entertain her foolishness. This is why I say she's a grifter because she doesn't stand on business. She just blows whichever the wind blows, whichever way the wind blows is where she blows. She just said, I don't feel like it's in, you know, we shouldn't go back 10 years. Who can stand that witness, that litmus test? But you have literally gone back 50 years to find out whose dick Kamala Harris done sucked. Girl, if you don't sit your ass down with your hypocritical stance, so you don't wanna go back too far for your homeboy, Andrew, but you're willing to like dig and dig and dig to find tea on who Kamala done sucked off. Interesting. And again, I had no dog in this fight. I'm just calling out the bullshit. Let's continue. I think it's a bit unfair. I also think that some of the critique that is coming your way is coming from people who are well-intentioned, like they actually don't perceive maybe perhaps, okay, this is 10 years ago, what the context is, has he changed since? So I will ask the question, and we are gonna get into some of those clips, you said you're an open book. How have you transformed? And I, I've seen changes just, I think, in the last five years. Yep. Who are you today? How have you transformed? That's a very good question. It's also very important. You talk about Candace from 10 years ago. 
The idea that you did something 10 years ago, which you would no longer agree with is one thing. But the second thing to, I, to come along to the conclusion that you now have no value to add to the world would be massively unfair. Oh, interesting. So basically the same thing that you're, you're allowing Andrew Tate grace, and I'm not saying he shouldn't get grace, you know, it, it is what it is. But none for Kamala. Kamala's just a whore 50 years later. She's still a whore. She was a whore back then. That's why she has no children because she's had so many abortions. Like y'all are, they're literally, again, turning this woman into like her whole, her whole sexual history is not to be picked apart just because y'all don't want her to be the president. And people can stand on whatever side they want to. Y'all know this is not a Democratic channel. This is not a Republican channel. I, I I don't, you know what I mean? Whatever way you stand left, right, that's your business, okay? I, I don't sit here and try and make people lean one way or another. I have no dog in any of this, okay? I'm just a girl giving her opinions. But my issue is that everybody wants grace. Everybody makes mistakes, especially past mistakes. And you have to give people enough grace to be able to learn from that and change. Do I believe that Kamala Harris is the same home-wrecking whore that she was in her early 20s and 30s that people are saying that she was? Do I believe that's who she is now in her 50s? Absolutely not. So why bring it back? Do I believe that Andrew Tate is the same guy who was pimping out women and doing all this stuff 10 years ago versus who he is now. He's coming to the Islamic faith. He seems to be turning over a new leaf. You know, I'm gonna watch the fruit and see what it bears because everybody's allowed grace. Do I believe that Black China is the same whore she was when she came into the industry, you know, thotting, bopping, stripping as she is now that she's Angela White and she's turning over a new leaf? I'm gonna give her grace. But it's very funny that all the people that she rocks with, you know, she can ignore stuff. She can, you know, give Kanye West all types of grace, Andrew Tate, Trump. But Kamala Harris is just a whore who sucked Willie Brown's peen. <laughs> like, what the hell? I just, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that now that there's a woman candidate, her sexual history somehow is the talk of the town. That's weird to me. Because when it's Trump, it's, it, it doesn't matter. A man's going to be a man. You can't expect a man to be faithful. Men are going to do whatever. That porn star's a Jezebel. She has a Jezebel spirit. And her Jezebel spirit entered into Trump. And he had no choice but to smash. I mean, all types of good country boy excuses for Trump's behavior. But with Kamala, it's all types of, you know, yeah, even, uh, yeah, uh, Bill Clinton. Thank you, uh, Tyler. He was in the damn White House getting his peen sucked by Monica uh, Lewinsky. All types of excuses. People blame Hillary. Well, she, she should have been giving him more head. You can give somebody head every day they walk in the house. If they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat. It's fucked up, but, you know, it happens. JFK, thank you, Lopez. Varela, appreciate you. JFK was another whore. Was fucking Marilyn Monroe, couldn't keep his peen in his pants, stayed cheating on poor Jackie, but he's praised as a great man. You know, no shade. I'm not saying that these men are bad. They're just human, right? So it's not like I'm demonizing. They're just human. People make mistakes. People sleep with other people. It is what the fuck it is. But when it comes to this woman, I'm seeing a lot of dragging of her coochie and her uterus, and it's just weird. Because the men in politics who were cheating and, you know, slutting their way, you know, using their, their power to sleep with interns and everything else, that's okay. A man's going to be a man. But God forbid it, Kamala was like, well, shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm cute. I'm young. <laughs> I'm spicy. I'm going to use what I got to get what I don't have. Now it's an issue 50 years later. Ciao, bye. So to me, like I said... She's another weirdo hypocrite. Just it depends on if she doesn't like somebody, uh, she's all in to attack them, and she never has the same grace for those same people that she has for her own deviant friends. Cause I have yet to see her say anything about Kanye West, his slutty wife, and the way she carries herself in front of his children. So that's why I don't take her seriously. The only thing I get from her is you know, grifter vibes. And again, like I said, I'm, I'm not a, a fan of Kamala 
like that. Um, do I want her to be the president? I, I just I just don't care at this at this point about this whole whoever wins wins at this point. Um, you know, I posted this meme the other day. It made me laugh. So I, I posted this. We was we was uh kicking about this on Instagram. In case y'all haven't seen this video, I'm gonna go ahead and play this. I think she's weird. She just says the same shit over and over. It's just very strange to me. Let me refresh this. Has been what can be unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been what we can see what we believe can be unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been what can be too okay but at least i can laugh at like the video i'm not coming at her coochie miles i'm not calling her, i'm not coming at the fact that she doesn't suck willie brown off don't know don't care what she does in her bedroom okay but it is weird that that's like her go-to line and the thing that's even stranger because i'm like what does this even mean what can be cannot be unburdened um i'm like what does that even mean i go to google it and there's literally a four minute montage on Twitter of her saying the same thing. I'm like, what is wrong? So at this point, I told I told Shalom Black, cause she had commented on there. I said, girl, I'm about to put that shit on a t-shirt, honey. And make me some coins because what can be cannot be unburdened. Let me go ahead and put that on a little, little lovely tea t shirt. I didn't know she said it that many times. I'm like, what what are you talking about? <laughs> so like I said. This whole presidential debate has had, it has me drained at this point. Between them trying to take out Trump, I don't care what none of y'all say, that was not staged on Trump's part. I said that from day one. There was, there's some type of cover up with that situation. It was too many holes in that story, too many balls being dropped. They wanted that assassination to happen. I think because it did not happen, they had no other choice but th to then be like, okay, well, Joe, you got to get up out of here. Now there's rumors floating around that Joe may be really sick because his brother says something really foreshadowing like the man was on his deathbed or something. I'm like, well, what is going on with old man Joe? We want him to be, our, we don't want him to be president, but we do want him to be okay. You know, I do care about him as a person. So I don't know what's going on. Now everybody's talking like, oh, man, Joe about to, you know what I'm saying, kick the bucket. Just a week ago, he was healthy. He said he wasn't going to lead the presidency. Have y'all heard the new news? They're saying he got caught, the C-19, but the way they're talking, they're talking as if he may not make it. I don't know if y'all have clocked that T. So I'm like, but he was just okay a week ago. He was cussing Trump out and <laughs> going off during the debate about just nonsensical shit then um when the shooting happened he had all his faculties something is just not right with this whole <laughs> presidential election for this year it's it's just it's nerve-wracking i don't care what side you're on the whole thing is just very nerve-wracking i mean the fact that uh, you know trump could have lost his life that's not funny to me. I don't care if that was Joe Biden up there, Kamala, Trump. That is scary. That that place was not secure to the point where this lunatic 20-year-old had a perfect shot at the you know former president. That's insane. So something definitely is going on here. Yeah, now they're acting like this man. Yeah, they literally are. Uh, thank you, Mama J. They're literally acting like something is going on now with Joe Biden. Then they were saying that it was some type of pre-recording that was floating around of him, like a pre-recorded audio. So I, I don't know what's going on right now. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.